Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, uh, so let's begin. Okay, so it's uh, uh, 11 o'clock. Okay, so uh, let's start off with just kind of uh, tapping on the rubbing again. So we're just going to stimulate our body and just by touch. Okay, so it could be just kind of inside, outside. You can do the tapping, we can massage as well. Top of the shoulders. Okay, the ribs and the belly area. Okay, and you can just go down your leg as well. So other ones can add it by massage and you can also tap. Okay, you can do the sitting down as well. Okay, so that goes in. And also maybe just the back as well. So I'm just going to uh, use everyone and also highlight the spotlight myself to so make it easy to see. Okay, so just kind of finish. Okay, and now we're just going to still do our marching. Just marching in place. Relaxing the shoulders. So I try to stand a little bit taller. Shoulders will be a little bit wider. Okay, so kind of swing in front of the shoulders. Okay, let's do this for about one to two minutes. Okay, you can try to practice your deep breathing at the same time. So try to take a deep breath, kind of into a diaphragm on the belly area. Okay, and as you breathe out, your belly sinks in a little bit. Okay, let's move our joints as well. So just turn side to side, as we usually do. Okay, and let's turn the entire body. So just kind of keep looking forward while you rotate your arms, rotate your shoulders. And slowly see if you can reach behind your hips as you swing your arms back. Okay, and I do our shoulder roll. You bring our spine along for the right, so just kind of slow slightly as you get your shoulders forward a little bit. Okay, and arch your back, extend your back as you bring your shoulders up and backwards. You can always switch direction. You can just kind of walk up and down a few times. Keep, keep moving our feet if you feel comfortable. Okay, and let's still go back to the arm swing, but maybe a little bit bigger motion, exaggerated motion. Let's kind of do the same. Okay, and slowly see if you can reach a little further back. Okay, and also reach a little, maybe slightly higher up. Okay, go as slow as you need to. Just let the person in. Okay, and both arms together, try to reach back. Okay, holding for five, four, three, two, one okay, and do the exact same thing by reaching upwards. Keeping okay, a lengthening body towards the ceiling, holding for five, four, three, two, one, okay, and just same thing one more time. Okay, going back once again, 
uh, thumbs can be kind of rotated inwards, reaching back, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and one more time, go upwards, lengthening body again, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and relax. Okay, let's do our cross body. So we can just left uh, arm and right at the same time. So we're just going to kind of kind of point towards our knees or kind of reaching. Okay, with another person in. Just kind of point, or you can, if you feel comfortable, you can lift your knees up a little higher, kind of touching the knee. Still staying tall for the spine. Okay, let's move our hips a little bit. So we're just going to try to touch a little bit lower point, a little lower. Okay, so you can imagine scooping something up with your foot. Okay, so you can kind of point towards the ankles. Okay, try to bring your ankle up. You can hold it on something, go as low as you need to. Okay, maybe a little bit effort inside the leg. Okay, and shaking out. Okay, and let's just kind of move the arms a little more. Okay, slowly go into a circle. So smaller circles first. As you feel more comfortable, see if you can draw a bigger circle all the way around. Okay, and you can always switch directions. Okay, let's rotate the arms. So you can close your hands. So you can roll your thumbs in, roll your thumbs out. Okay, we're gonna bend and extend the elbows a few times. Okay, we can combine the movements. So you can keep your elbows kind of close to your body as you push your hands out. Okay, while you're bending and straightening the elbows. Okay, let's do the opposite. You're gonna bring your elbows out, reaching hands in, okay, and reaching out. Okay, so you're gonna reach into your armpits, okay, and then palm just kind of pointing up and oops. Okay, so reaching your armpits and then out from the side. And rotate your wrist a couple of times each way. Okay, open and close into hands. Okay, open and close in the fingertips. Side to side with fingers. Okay, and just wiggle all your fingers. Okay, shake it out. Okay, uh, we're gonna move the hips a little bit. Yeah, okay, so just going to find uh, ribs. Okay, so if, uh, you can stop moving your feet. So you can find your ribs with your thumbs, uh, and then move uh, pinky, uh, fingers in the belly area. Okay, and kind of just suck your stomach in a little bit. Okay, and push your stomach out a little bit. So what you're doing is that you're moving your spine back and forth a little bit. Okay, so pay attention to how your fingers feel right now. Okay, so now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna try to see if we can not feel anything moving here. Okay, so we're gonna try to only move on the hips. So we're gonna push the butt back. Okay, you don't feel any movement underneath your fingers. Okay, so that's how you know your spine is in the right place. Okay, and you're gonna just go back and forth. Okay, so start off a good position. Okay, you're gonna try to keep this good position. Okay, so your spine doesn't move, only your hips are moving back. You're bending your hip joints but your spine doesn't move. Okay, so just about me. Let's try five to eight times of so breathing in. Okay, and breathing out as you stand back up. Okay, so your hips, shoulders, and ears, and it's in a straight line. Okay, here we go. Straight line. It stays in the same position as you reach down or reach forward or bend forward and stand back up. Okay, so your spine stays in the same position, you're moving your upper lower body, move out 
moving a swan away from, I guess, the strongest position, which is uh, like a straight back or a neutral back. Okay. Now, when you move the knees a little bit more, okay, so when you have a hand, maybe let's try to have the hands on the thighs. Okay, exact same thing, your spine is still in that neutral position, okay, but this time you bend your knees a little bit more. Okay, so you're sitting on a very tall stool. Hips are doing the exact same thing, but your knees bend a little bit more this time. Okay, your knees are also over your toes, or tracking over the toes. So if you draw a straight line there, it kind of is roughly over the middle of your foot. Okay, and only go as slow as you feel comfortable, but if you do, your knees are fine. You can sit a little bit lower, maybe chair height. Okay, but start off smaller motion and only to what you can do pick in a pain-free manner. Let's do maybe one or two more times. The hands are um, just, just there to remind you to keep your back nice and long. Okay, and now let's bend the knees. Just lubricate the joints while moving them. So just kind of alternating. Okay, and see if you can add maybe a little bit of a pause on each leg. Okay, just a little bit of a single leg balance. Okay, feel the weight shifting over to one foot. Okay, and feel to briefly maintain your balance there. Okay, and now let's go into hip circles. Let's just draw a circle all the way around. Let's see, uh, try to, if you can keep your upper back kind of relax a little bit. Okay, just let the hand kind of heavy. Give me three to five times per direction. Angles you can either um, rotate them as, uh, by lifting the neck up. Uh, if you're wearing shoes or if the ground is a little softer, you can kind of use your, the ground to help you draw a bigger circle all the way around. The ground version is easy if you're wearing shoes or the ground is pretty soft. Okay, and same thing on the other side. Okay, and kind of just wiggle your toes a little bit, scratch the floor. Lift the toes up. Try to see if you can spread them apart a little bit. This might be a little hard to do. Okay, and shake it out again. Okay, and that was the warm up. Okay, so let's grab our band and then we can just do the um, the strengthening part. Okay, so uh, let's still do, so last week we do the uh, pushing and pulling with the, the arms and the legs. Okay, so today we're also gonna do push and pull. So last time it was more vertical, so we're pushing more overhead. Today let's do horizontal pushing. So kind of pushing forward and pulling kind of um, backwards as well. Okay, so this is kind of like a push up movement. Okay, so we're gonna uh, grab a chair or you can use a wall as well. Uh, make sure the chair is pretty sturdy. Uh, make sure all uh, like the countertop or something, or you can also use the the wall to help you. Okay, so we're gonna do a horizontal push. Okay, important thing is when we're pushing, when we're pu moving our arms. Okay, we're gonna try to keep the spine stable. Okay, so it's kind of like when we did this, we're moving our legs. Okay, but our spine stays in the same shape. Same with when we're pushing forward. Okay, so. You want to stay, have a good position to start with, and then as for other movement, your spine looks exactly the same. Okay, so uh, we're going to start off. Uh, you can sort of use a heavier chair than the mine, probably have it against a wall. Okay, I'm going to hope it's going to be uh, against this, my, this thing here for myself. Okay, so uh, maybe even have two chairs, or the chairs are not quite wide enough. Have two chairs. Okay, so first thing you can do is that you're going to just get your spine in a nice position. Okay, so closer you are, the easier it becomes. The further away, the harder it becomes. Okay, so start off with getting your hips in position. So this will be too high up. Okay, this is probably too low. Okay, so you can see my back will be bent backwards. Okay, so just kind of roughly 
in a straight line. Okay, so you can also have one leg in front, one leg slightly further back, just so that you can kind of use this leg to help you a little bit or kind of catch yourself if your arms are oh, maybe slip or something like that. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of lower ourselves down slowly. Okay, and then pushing ourselves back up. Okay, but pay attention to what your spine is doing. So kind of my body from my, my heels to my hips, to my shoulders, to my spine, okay, it's kind of still in a straight line. Okay, so I'm just going to lower myself there. Okay, and pushing myself back up. Okay, so kind of breathing in. Okay, breathing out. Okay, only go as low as you feel comfortable as you can control. So if you start to kind of your hips kind of go over the place, uh, maybe don't go down as low. You can also use a wall, get okay, kind of the exact same thing. You can probably a little bit sturdier this way. Okay, but it's hard to see in this angle, so I'm going to keep doing in this angle. Okay, so you can use the front leg to help you a little bit if you need it. Okay, elbows doesn't have to be very close to the body. It could be maybe roughly 45 degrees. Probably is the easiest. Probably the most challenging in the back of the back of the arm. A little bit of the shoulders. Okay, so we're going to aim for, let's say, 10 to 15 times, okay, a little bit of challenge. Okay, if there's no challenge, either do it a little bit lower. So, for example, I can do a push-up a little bit lower. If you're a little stronger, you can go a little bit lower. Okay, so if you have a different level, like a desk or a chair, like a high chair, you can use that instead. Okay, but the important thing is that you push, your body, the rest of your body stays in the same shape that you're stable throughout. Okay, so that's how pushing horizontally. So you can think of the reason why we're really stable as you can think of when you're pushing against heavy door, a lot of times uh, you're not, uh, if it's a very heavy door or if you are not being careful, you can imagine as you push, you're gonna get pushed back. Okay, so we need to stabilize our body, kind of anchor ourselves down as we push and we can emulate that by as you're pushing your body, you wanna keep our body in the same shape. Okay, so that's kind of horizontal um, pushing. Okay, so let's relax for a second. Okay, and then we're gonna go into the uh, legs. Um, so let's do something um, horizontal as well, more of the hips. So last time we were kind of going forward and back. Okay, so that's kind of lifting straight. You can think of lifting straight uh, in this plane. So you're moving uh, forward, backwards, upwards, downwards. Okay, this time we're gonna move sideways okay so that's losing the muscles muscle in the side of the hips okay so this one you can uh, if you want you can grab your chair you're going to put one end of the band on the floor and step on it with both both feet okay so the kind of the shorter it is to start with the harder it becomes if you want you can always double the band up as well okay but uh, you can start off maybe hip width apart you're gonna wrap the band kind of on top of the foot. Okay, and then you can, I like to anchor it down just on a chair, something like that, or you can kind of anchor it on your opposite hip as well, whatever works for you. So, so uh, this might be easier so you can kind of hold on as well. Okay, so you're gonna turn the leg that has the band wrapped around, you're gonna turn your toes out just slightly, just so we're hooking the band. Okay, and you're gonna keep the leg out to the side, okay, and very slightly sideways. Okay, so uh, very slightly backwards, I mean. Okay, so kind of breathing in. Just a breathe out. Kick it mostly to the side. Just a little, just a little bit towards the back. Kind of feeling the muscles to the side, a little bit in the back as well. That's what we're aiming for 10 to 15 times. With a little bit of effort. So I think we're around uh, the sixth time. Seven, you can pause a little bit at the right top. Eight. 
nine, 10. Okay, so I can feel my muscles getting a little tight and my opposite leg is getting pretty tight. So I'm asking myself, how many more times can I do? So I'm at 13, I probably can at most do maybe five more. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna just maybe push one or two more times. Okay, so I probably can at most do two more, two to three more. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. Let's check it out, relax. Okay, I'm gonna repeat on the other side. So once again, I have one end of the band on the ground. Okay, I'm just stepping on it. I should have got it on the side, this way. Okay, so once again, wrapping the band on, over the foot. Okay, and you can so put a chair even in front so you can hold onto the chair with both hands if you want. Okay, or just one side. Okay, once again, the leg that has the band wrap around the top. So you turn it out just slightly, so just to hook it onto the band. Okay, and off to the side, slightly to the back. Okay, so two, three, four, five. If the band is too light for you, you can just add a longer pause at the top, just so your muscles are working for longer periods of time or it's under tension for a longer period of time. That's a way to progress as well. Okay, so I think we're at number eight or so. Nine, 10, 11, okay, so my muscles are getting a little tired. I'm asking myself, how many more times can I do? Okay, so my left, this side is maybe a little more tired than the other. Okay, so I think at most I can um, maybe do four more. So I'm gonna just do one more time. Okay, so leave kind of two to three more in the tank as we call it. Okay, and shake your fingers out. Okay, and let's repeat the pushing movement next. Okay, so once again, find the height that you're comfortable with. Okay, so either uh, make sure it's a sturdy chair or, or wall. Okay, and we do the push up one more time. Okay, so if you only have access to a wall and you can't, uh, or the chair is not sturdy enough to go lower, uh, you can also just do a wall push up with the band behind you. So let's say you are, you can only, you only have access to a wall, okay, and then you can just add a band to it so that we are pushing our body weight and also uh, lengthening band at the same time. Okay, so if you, uh, this is one way to make it a little harder. Uh, if you can lower yourself down a little bit, if you feel comfortable doing that, you can also do so. Okay, but still, so I'm just doing the level that I'm comfortable with. You don't have to go down this low. Okay, but once again, you have, shouldn't be that high, shouldn't be kind of hanging out down here too much. Okay, so in the straight line or so, okay, and try and keep this position as you lower yourself either towards a chair or, or a wall and pushing back up. Okay, depending on what you're using, you might um, stay a little bit in your way. Okay, so just at your own pace. Okay, I'm number five or so, six, seven, eight, eight. And you can once again also have one in four, just so you can maybe help yourself a little bit. You can catch yourself a little bit. And ask yourself, how many more times can I do? Okay, the answer is I can probably do maybe two to three more times. Okay, then probably is a good time 
to stop at that point. So sometimes if you're doing the wall, it might be a little bit hard on your wrist. Okay, in that case, um, you might have stretched a little, your wrist a little bit more, or you can move your hands up a little high up. Okay, but just remember pushing is not using just using your arms. It's also kind of integrating or coordinating with the rest of your body. So you can um, keep your body stiff while moving your arms. Okay, so you can kind of think of if you're shooting like a cannon, um, if you have shooting a cannon from the from a, from a ground, from a platform, it's much, much more sturdy. Okay, but if you try to fire uh, like a cannon from a canoe, um, it's going to rock over the place. The cannon is not going to go very far. Okay, so we need to have a stable base, meaning the rest of the body from the feet okay, and apply a force through the hands. Okay, so let's repeat the kind of horizontal lifting. Okay, so this time I start off the opposite leg as before. Okay, so last time I started my right foot, this time I'm going to switch over to my left, okay, because in this exercise both hips get a little tired. So it just balances out by kind of switching whatever which side we start with first. Okay, so once again you can step on the band okay, and kind of this way. Okay, if you're pretty strong and you uh, feel comfortable, uh, you can also kind of step on the band. Uh, so if one set single strand is too light for you, you can put both tails on the ground, okay, wrapping the foot. So this leg is um, wrapped up. Okay, so I'm lifting both strands. Okay, if you feel like the one strand is too light for you, you can try this. Okay, but I'm still uh, holding a chair for balance, turning my toes slightly just to catch up on the band. Okay, and I'm just lifting it mostly to the side, maybe a little bit sideways. Okay, so one, two, three. You can adjust by either stepping close at the beginning, that will make it harder. Four, or you can step it out a little wider apart, that will make it easier. Uh, I think I worked five, let's say we're five, six, seven, eight. And the way to make it harder is just to not put your foot there. Nine, ten. Okay, at this point, I'm, also, I'm getting a little tired. Eleven. Okay, I can at most do two more times. Okay, so I'm going to stop at this point it might be different for you. Okay, but aim for 10 to 15 times uh, with a little bit of effort. And shake your hands out. And when you're ready, let's do the repeat on the other side. Okay, so once again, you can either do a string or strand of the band by just kind of holding one, or if you want to do two, kind of let go so you're wrapping one foot up, okay, and stepping on the tail, both tails of the other foot. Put a chair anywhere you feel comfortable to, uh, that you feel balance, just uh, steady. Okay, and the, to the toes pointing out slightly again, slightly pushing out to the side, slightly to the, a uh, little bit to the back. So two, Three, four, five, six. Okay, also control on your way up, control on your way down. This is seven, so don't let the band car snap you back, control on your way down. Eight, nine, 10, okay, I'm starting to get a little tired. I can probably do, uh, probably five more maybe for myself. Okay, so I have 12. Okay, and I'm gonna just do one more. Okay, so I have about two, I can at most we do two more times. Okay, so then I know I should stop. Okay, and once again, shift things out. Okay, relax.
Okay, so uh, let's go on to the legs. Okay, so for the legs, um, pushing, you can't really push to the side so much. So we're gonna go front to back. So last time when we were going up in there, primarily we're using the front of the leg. Okay, so today we're gonna just work a little bit more for the back of the legs. Okay, so this one probably should have a chair. So what you're gonna do is gonna wrap the band, just the one of your ankles. Uh, I like to kind of give it a few twists. So it kind of, it kind of stays in one place or one strand. Okay, we'll put it on the floor and then we're just gonna step on it with the other foot. So it's kind of similar to what we just did, okay, but um, instead of wrapping around it first, you're wrapping around the kind of the back of the ankles instead. Okay, so once again, of course, the, the wider, uh, while you step at the beginning, the more so more there's more band in between my foot, the easier it is. If you step a little closer, there's less band to stretch out, it'll be a little harder. Okay, so you can adjust that. So the band that has the, the leg that the leg wrapped around, you're gonna push it, bring it back slightly. I uh, can be leaning forward slightly as well. Okay, and my goal is just to bring my heel towards my butt, feeling the muscles in the back of the leg. Okay, so sometimes you have to play around with um, if it's sliding, um, you might have to uh, not have it on your pants. Okay, but at the beginning, uh, probably don't try too hard. Some people do cramp up because we're not using, used to using the muscle back of the leg. Okay, so bring your heel towards the butt. Okay, three, four, five, Six, seven, okay, if you feel that like you're cramping up, just stop or so then eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and at this point, I feel like I can't even really lift up my foot too high anymore. Okay, so I should probably stop then. Okay, and when you're ready, you feel free to switch sides. Okay, exactly same thing. Okay, so it's still kind of wrapping around back of the ankle. Um, you can wrap just a few times if you want. You can just kind of drop on the floor. You can step on. The band on the foot. And you can try a few times, so you might have to just can play play around with how high the band is, just so it stays in place. Okay, but you're trying to bring the heel closer to your butt. Okay, so if your knees are moving forward, um, you're not really using the back of the leg, so you want it to be bring your foot slightly backwards. And try to lift the heel towards the butt, feeling the muscles in the back. Of the thighs. I can feel myself not being lifted as high anymore, so let stop there. Okay, so for this one, uh, you don't have to, one thing is you don't have to have it too far back, it's hard to engage your muscle this way. Uh, as long as you're not trying to lift, you're not thinking of lifting the knee up, you still think of pulling the heel towards the butt, even if you need slightly forward, uh, that's fine, and make sure you can feel that you're using it back of the thighs. Okay, and shake the knees out. Okay, so next one. So last time we did actually did horizontal pulling. So last time we were uh, doing something like this. So we're pulling towards our back. So you can think of pulling a door. Okay, today we're gonna pull kind of more downwards. Okay, so you think of climbing, uh, you're pulling downwards with the arms. 
Okay, so um, the easiest way is if you have something high up, you can anchor your band up to, that'll be easier. So if you imagine this, um, like a tree or something like that, and you can kind of hang up and you're pulling down, that'll make it the, the easiest, okay? But uh, we're gonna do it a different way. Okay, so we're still gonna be using the chair. Uh, this one you might want to, uh, for most people, you, you can try doubling at first or you can try single, okay? But you have it on the chair. Okay, uh, give me one second and then turn off my heater. So when you're pulling downwards, your elbows is going from, let's say from shoulder height towards the bottom. Okay, so instead of pulling down, we're gonna make ourselves more horizontal. Okay, so we're gonna, actually, so we're gonna put it one end of the band on the chair, put a hand anchor it on with our arms on the other side. Okay, and then we're gonna walk ourselves backwards. Okay, but instead of pulling upwards like this, we're gonna go from closer to the top of the head towards our hips. Okay, so we can start off with kind of both hands on the chair. Okay, and then you're gonna pull your elbows towards your butt. Okay, you can feel the muscles kind of near the armpit area. So you can imagine if I just transition up here, I'm doing something like this, but it's, it's kind of hard to hold up here. So I'm going to lean forward so that my kind of, I'm kind of more horizontal. So I'm pulling from the top of my head towards my hips. Okay, so it's still kind of um, vertical pulling and you're pulling from the top of the head towards my hips. Okay, so both arms have to work a little bit. My, my top arm is pushing away while my this arm is kind of pulling towards my hip. Okay, and you can bend your knees as much as you feel comfortable. Okay, back might feel a little bit tired as well. Okay, so I think we're somewhere at 10. Okay, at this point, I feel like my entire back is a little tired, my shoulders are a little tired. I can most do a couple more times, so I'm gonna stop. Okay, pause for a second. Make sure you don't feel, you feel okay. Okay, but once again, we, what we're doing is we're pulling from up high to from the head to the hips. Okay, we're just doing it while we're leaning forward. Okay, just so because we don't have anything, most of us won't have something to hang on from the top. Okay, so when we're ready, let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so once again, we can have the anchor the one ended band on the chair. Okay, walk ourselves back again to our bodies kind of more horizontal. Okay, so it's just so that we can pull from top of the head towards our hips. Okay, so think of getting your hips, uh, getting your elbow closer to your hips. Okay, you can play around with the band, so uh, you can always make it, make it even shorter. Okay, or whatever you need to do to make, to have a little bit of challenge. So keep a rough count. Okay, but the important thing is ask yourself how many more times can I do? Okay, and we're stopping when we feel like we can do two to three more times. Okay, so we're gonna repeat these two exercises one more time. Okay, so kind of the back of the leg. Okay, and then what we call maybe vertical pulling. So, 
going back to the Friedrich size. Okay, when you're ready, just wrap, once again, wrap it around your ankles. Stepping on the tail of the other foot. Okay, and try to pull your heel towards your butt, feeling the muscles in the back of the thighs. Your knees can travel forward a little bit. As long as you're not, imagine you're not trying to lift it up this way, so if the band slides off the heel, you're probably lifting the front of the leg instead of the back of the leg. Okay, so I think that's on three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I feel like I can't really lift it up too high anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. You can push yourselves a little more if you want. Okay, just be careful of cramming up. And when you're ready, just switch to the other side. Okay, just whenever you're ready. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. So my style, I want to stop at eleven. Once again, you can do more or less. Shaking us off. And we're just going back to the vertical pulling. It's a pulling from above our head towards our hips. So once again, we're gonna anchor just one band on the chair. Okay, we're gonna walk ourselves backwards until our upper body is kind of more uh, flat or horizontal. Okay, and pulling from my head towards my hips. So think of getting your elbows into kind of your butt. without kind of overturning the body too much. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, so I can probably at most do five more. So I'm going to do just two more. Okay, leave a couple in the tank. Okay, rest as long as we need in between. Okay, when we're ready, we can do the same thing on the other side. Increment the band on the chair once again. Walking myself back, okay, until I'm leaning kind of forward. Okay, so I'm pulling once again from my head to the side hips. So I probably this side. Okay. Actually, I think I forgot to switch sides. Be doing this arm instead. Okay, so just keep going at your own pace.
Okay, and we're done. So we come back out. Nice and close. Okay, so we can put our band away. Okay, and we're just gonna do just a little bit of stretching. So let's start off from the hands. Just over a couple more minutes. Okay, so let's start off easy just with a prayer stretch. Okay, so just the hands, the palms together, fingers together. Okay, and trying to just bring your wrist down. Okay, while keeping your hands kind of flush against each other. Okay, feeling a stretch just in the wrist. A um, little bit of forearm. Okay, so let's do deep breaths in and out. Okay, let's do three to five deep breaths. Okay, so I'm in my, for myself, I'm in my third breath. Okay, so that was five breaths for me. Um, Sometimes I like to use just counting breaths instead of seconds. Just so if I'm very stressed out, I'm very tired that day, my breathing is going to be faster. Uh, so I'll be doing less that day. If I'm feeling good, naturally I'll be taking longer breaths in and out. Uh, so I can do more on that day. Okay, so we're going to do the, this muscle here. So that that's the muscle we use to pull our kind of our arms down. So what we're going to do is that we are, uh, you might need a sturdy desk or a chair in front. So you're gonna be, so give me one second. I'm just going to actually grab another chair. Okay, so kind of similar position to what we did before. I'm still gonna be leaning forward. Okay, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna reaching one arm up. Okay, but instead of reaching straight forward, I'm going to reach across the body. So from the, looking from this angle, if I'm holding on, I'm going to start reaching forward, I'm going to reach across. Okay, so think of, this, think of the further out you go to this side, the more you stretch out this side. Okay, so this could be, um, if this is a little sturdy, that perhaps is a little easier. Okay, but you can imagine pushing, so this is my right arm, I'm going to push my right armpit out towards my right side. Okay, so you almost feel a stretch in the, just all along the back of the armpits towards your low back. Okay, so I'm, my right arm is reaching towards the left side and I'm pushing my right armpits towards the right. Once again, we're holding for 35 deep breaths in and out. And slowly come back up. Okay, pause in between. So this works better if, you get, if the thing you're holding on to is very sturdy and you can actually pull against it. That is actually easier. Uh, so you can imagine if you have a door frame that you can kind of grab onto and you can kind of really lean into it. That's a little easier for the chair. If you try to lean, of course, it's going to be kind of falling to the side. Uh, so if you have time, you can grab onto a door frame and lean away. You can also do this on the floor as well. Okay, but if you're on a chair, let's try to just do the same thing on our side. So this is my left arm. I'm reaching forward towards my right. Okay, and then I'm going to push my left armpit towards the left. Okay, so kind of play around to see if, if you can feel the stretch, uh, different angles, see if you can feel a stretch in the upper area, a uh, little bit side of the back. Okay, once again, we're focusing on it, taking deeper breaths in and out. And almost imagine trying to breathe into the area where you feel the tightness. 
or where you feel the stretch in. Three to five deep breaths. And so we're coming back up. Okay, so next one we're gonna do the back of the leg. So this one is the just a classic stretch. You can just sit a little more forward until you can have your foot, your leg out straight. Okay, you're just gonna lean forward and you can you can either have the hand on your leg or you can grab on the chair. Okay, and just feel until you feel a stretch here. Uh, make sure you're not trying to you're not trying to pull your chest towards the leg. Imagine pulling your trying to pull your belly button towards your toes. Okay, once again, deep breaths in and out. And when you're ready, we can switch sides. Okay, once again, we're not trying to pull our chest towards the toes, we're trying to pull our belly button towards the toes. And so it can be Okay, last one we're just gonna stretch the side of the hips. Right, so this one we do need a chair in the side. Uh, it might be easier for someone to hold on to an opposite style like a wall. Okay, so uh the inside leg, so the uh, side where we have to I'm holding on a chair, I'm gonna cross over. So this is my left side. I'm going to cross my left leg over my, in front of my right. Okay, I'm just going to push my right hip out. Okay, you might, uh, you might feel a little bit of stretch on the side. If you don't, that's okay as well. Okay, you can play around the angle. So try to be pushing backwards a little bit and a little forward. See what you feel just a little bit more of a stretch. Okay, the leg, this leg can be just for balance. You can Put it anywhere you feel comfortable. Keep okay, you pushing the hips out until you feel a little bit of a stretch on the side of your hips. Okay, you can use this muscle support as you uh, to feel comfortable, feel steady. Okay, and we're ready, let's do the same thing on our side. So we can bring the chair around and can you two chairs just hold on our side. Okay, so this time I am holding on my right hand. I'm gonna put my right leg in front of my uh, in front. Okay, and I'm pushing my left hip out to the side. Okay, and you can play around the angle, uh, see where you feel more of a stretch and just on the side of the hips. So if you need, you need to feel safer, have two chairs, one in front, one on the side. And so they come back up. Okay, let's extend it back one more time so you can put your hips, hands on the hips, breathing in, open your chest up a little bit, bring your chest up as well. Okay, breathing in and out, you can either hold it there or you can just kind of contract and relax. 
Okay, once again, we're focusing on and taking a deeper breath in. Longer breath out. Okay, slowly come back. Shaking out. Okay, and that's all the time we're for today. So thank you for coming, everyone. Uh, I'll still be here for if you have any questions. Uh, if not, then we'll see everyone next time. Bye. Bye-bye.